Okay. Oh, now I live. I see it on there. Oh, we're live on, we are live. It's, I can see it. Okay. Oh, now we're live. What? <laughs> Okay. Hey guys, uh, it's Leah and Julie. Hi. We're coming and we're to you live. live. Oh. What's that? <laughs> so we're coming to you live from our homes. We, we are from our homes while we're social distancing. Yep, absolutely. We also have Chief Reyes with us. Chief is our senior enlisted advisor at the exchange. He acts as a liaison uh, between the, the local commands and the headquarters leadership. And he also can be known as the voice of the exchange uh, as he works with customers and um, helps them resolve any issues they might have. Tell us a little bit more, Chief. Hey, thank you, Leah, Julie, for having me here. Appreciate it. Hello, so I- <laughs> Having you here in your own home? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I haven't seen you guys like in a month, so. <laughs> I know, it's good. it's good to see you. I miss you guys. It's good to chat with you too. Absolutely. And of, course, and of course, all the customers out there in Facebook world, if anyone's watching, I don't know, but uh, thank you for chiming in or for jumping on. Um, so Chief Master Sergeant Lewis Ray has been in about 22 years, been working the exchange now for a little bit over three years. One of the best assignments, a uh, hidden gem uh, of the Air Force. Uh, gr great way, you know, interacting with the local commands, the installation garrison commanders, and of course, all the customers, right? And I take that feedback and I provide it to the civilian leadership at AFES. And, you know, we do everything we can to enhance that customer service experience to bring the customers what they need and what they want. You have a pretty cool gig, Chief. Awesome. I do, I do. <laughs> <laughs> So Chief, um, during this pandemic, can you talk to us a little bit about how the exchange has been there for warfighters in the military community? So I'm not sure how many people know this, but you know, the exchange is a DOD entity, Mission mm -hmm. Central DOD entity. We've been around come this July for 125 years, right? A long time. <laughs> a very long time, right? Uh, through conflicts, humanitarian crisis, in over, we've been in over 33 countries across the states. Uh, we go where you go, right? That's that's our mission statement. And that's not yeah. just words that we say. We literally go wherever you go, whether they be in the war zones, overseas. And this this COVID pandemic is not going to stop us from supporting our war fighters, you know, and their family members. And that's what we're here to do. So some of the things the exchange has been working on, of course, uh, to, to prevent the spread of the virus is you know, we've installed acrylic shields at, at the point of sale systems to kind of uh, protect the customer and the associates. Those are really, those are cool. I, at least I think, I, I feel better with them. I, I think those are pretty neat. Correct, it, it prevents a, you know, a sense of security for a lot of the customers, especially since you can't really keep a six foot distance in between, right. in between the cashier and the, the customer. Uh, we also, we've also implemented, we've you know, encouraged people to use cashless transactions. Mm -hmm. And you, you know, as you're well aware, uh, COVID could stay on surfaces for hours at a time. So to prevent that transaction of cash between the customer and associate, we encourage them to use their debit cards or credit cards, whatever form of payment, gift cards, whatever form of payment they, they prefer. Uh, on top of that, we're wiping down, you know, the POS systems, high traffic areas, any, just all the locations where, you know, a customer could probably possibly touch something. We're wiping it down, routinely disinfecting areas, more so now than ever. Uh, in the food courts, of course, many of you've noticed, we've taken out the dining uh, room tables, yep. the chairs, takeout only, uh, cups. We, we, we will provide the reusable cups. You're not using the same cup or not, sorry, we won't provide you a reusable cup. We will provide you another cup for a refill uh, versus you using a reusable cup. Um, sure. Condiments are, are, are takeout only condiments, so you can't grab condiments yourself. You know, we're really limiting the, the access to those areas that can, that can be highly contaminated. And that's to protect not only the customer, but of course, to protect the associates. Those are a few of the things we're, we're doing to help, you know, help prevent the spread of COVID. Very important. Uh, one other thing just came to mind is these pretty cool mind a meter stickers, right? The visual <laughs> aid that we put on the floor for, for you know, sometimes people don't know. I don't know, I guess I'm six feet apart and I probably just aren't, <laughs> right? 
So we got these mind meter stickers on the floor. It kind of provides a visual aid for the customers to kind of know where to stand. They're like, okay, I'm in line, I'll stand here. This is my marker, six feet away, we're good. You know, we're practicing the guidelines given to us by not only the CDC, but of course the military leadership. Yep. And of course now, uh, most of you have seen uh, the masks, possibly I've seen some VXs have implemented, you have to wear the mask if you walk into an exchange uh, per the installation commander's uh, request. So if, if you're walking in exchange, you, you will need a mask. Um, and, you know, depending on the location, but, you know, that's to protect not only the associates, but to protect you as a customer. Mm -hmm. okay, I believe that's DOD policy, right? Guidance yep. right now? It came out uh, Sunday, I believe, on the 5th. Yes. 5th. Yes. Can we, uh, that's, that's excellent, Chief. Thanks for sharing that information. Can we pause for a second to just look at um, some of the comments and maybe if you're watching, uh, tell us where you're watching from in the comments. Looks like Sandy is watching and she says, hi team and hey chief. Hello, Sandy, how are you? <laughs> oh, my husband is watching. Thanks for watching, honey. <laughs> and it looks like Jose is watching and he says, hey team. Thanks, Jose, we miss you. It's miss seeing you too. <laughs> so chief, um, Tell us a little bit more about um, other things that the exchange is doing. Maybe um, are you able to have a contactless order, um, something like that? Yeah, so some of the cool things, right? Of course, uh, while you stay at home, a lot of people probably shopping online, surfing the web, looking for stuff. And of course, we have shopmyexchange.com, right? Right. So for all you service members out there, family members, shopmyexchange.com, tax-free shopping, but more importantly, uh is is the options we have for some of those customers who don't want to go into the store who don't want to expose themselves to other people right they're very careful uh, we have bopus which is buy online pick up and store and if when you go to check out via the the shop my exchange website there's an option there for bopus uh you click on that and what that does is the the associates will go get your goods put them in the bag and you come inside and pick it up now to go even further than that with the non-contactless uh, uh, sales piece, we have went to curbside curbside delivery. That so, is so cool. I love that. Yes. It is, right? I mean, we got these signs that we put up in the parking lot, curbside delivery only. So you don't even have to get out your car. You go online, <laughs> choose curbside delivery. You pull into the spot. The associate will come out and bring it to you. That way you don't even have to see anyone if you don't want to. Uh, that is so great. I love, love, love that. Yeah, of course, we're testing it out at six locations right now. I think Fort Benning, Fort Campbell, KMC, Camp Humphreys, McCord Air Force Base, and JRB uh, Naval Air Station here at, at Fort Worth, Dallas. And we're expecting that to roll out to all our stores shortly. We're just testing it out really quick, make sure we got all the bugs fixed, so that way when the customer comes, it's a seamless transaction. Very um, cool. That's, that's for the safety of everyone. And hopefully people take advantage of that. So on the on the feed, Tim Meyer had asked, what are some things the exchange is doing to mitigate the spread of COVID-19? So I think, Chief, you've probably covered most of that. Um, some other <laughs> folks, Chris Ward would like to know where you got that high and tight, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> you doing that yourself at home? <laughs> hey guys, let's let's be honest, right? The barbershops are closed in Dallas, but let's be honest. Uh, uh, I'll just I'll just be real. People, people out there, barbers out there, still need to make money, right? Uh, they still need to pay bills. Unfortunately, it isn't you know you're not not paying your mortgage. Uh, so there's people out there that are still providing haircuts, uh, barbers, you know, uh, mobile barbers that'll come to your house. But of course, they're they're providing uh, all the safety measures, just like you would at some of our barber shops that are still running out there. I, I don't know if you're aware, but we have a couple of mobile barbers out in Fort Leonard. Yeah. The highway clipper, right? It's rolling. <laughs> Correct, the rolling clipper, right? So we're providing barbershops in a safe, you know, secure environment, social distancing. They're disinfecting all their equipment uh, in between in between customers more thoroughly now than ever. Uh, and, and that's important. You know, some, some commands really appreciate keeping your grooming standards up to date. I got you. Uh, so, so in order to facilitate that, we provide these mobile barbershops. And the same goes in Dallas. We still have those, those barbers that are still out there providing those mobile mobile services, those grooming services. So that's why Chris Ward. <laughs> I think that really leads us into a great discussion on our We Go Where You Go mission. So can you talk a little bit about We Go Where You Go, which is our motto, 
and how it relates to the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, so we go where you go. Some of the, I'll say some of the cool things, like for example, overseas, the school meal program. A lot of people don't know, we've been running the, the school meal program for about 60 years now. Uh, we provide school lunches, breakfast for all the Dodia schools overseas. Yep. I think in 1980, we were actually approved by the USDA to provide all school lunches. <laughs> we are the authority on school lunch program for the Dodia schools. Uh, with that, right now, a lot of the schools are not in session, right? So parents have now become teachers. You know, they have to stay at home, take care of the kids. So what we've done is we've continued to provide breakfast and lunch for the students. All the parents have to do is swing by to pick it up. Um, and what does that mean, right, for the parent? That's just one less thing the parents don't have to worry about. You know, it's, it's one less stressor in their mind. They don't have to worry about making breakfast. They don't have to worry about making lunch. They know it's ready. Come by, come by to school, pick it up and go home. And so the kids are ready to have a lunch and it's something they can focus, right? They can focus on more important issues in the house. Maybe, you know, uh, whatever it is teaching their kids what to do, uh, maintenance, whatever it is they have to do at their home. So. <laughs> maintenance. And we're doing that in Korea, Japan, and Europe, right? Correct, correct, correct. All over, all, only overseas locations, that's where the schools are run. Uh, so yeah, we're providing those services to help, you know, to help those those families in need during this time. Another cool thing is the, the bakery or the glue stop bakery and water plant. Many of you might not know this, but all the bread you get at the commissary, a lot of the breads and, and goods, the water that you buy at the commissaries overseas and at our stores, we bake that, right, with American flour that's shipped from the States overseas so it could taste just like the the same product you buy in america so we've increased production on that to, to meet that demand uh, also we've there's these pretty cool things uh, uh micro markets they're similar to to for those in the military snack funds right a snack not fund. bus right not I bus, earlier not you snack bus. Bus. Like sign me up for the snack bus. Yeah, so a snack fund. A snack fund is one of those little things, you know, uh, units do it. They'll go buy goods, you know, sodas, Twix bars, Snicker bars. They'll put it in the fridge and they'll sell it to, you know, help with party for Christmas parties and just small, you know, small things. Going away plaques for the service members, just little things. It's, 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 it's real small, small amounts. And, you know, it helps, it helps support their cause. Um, so what we have is micro markets, which we deploy. They're basically, it's like a small, a really small store, five by five feet, 10 by 10 feet. It has a kiosk, it's unmanned. It's all mm -hmm. consumable goods, TV dinners, salads, sodas, chips, candy bars, things of that nature. And what's cool about this, there's no interaction. You go there, put your thumbprint on there, or your, 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 you scan your, your debit card, mm -hmm. charge you, and you can walk away. And social cool. applied there. So that's another great option. Uh, that hey, Chief. Yes. Tim, Tim Meyer says it's called a roach coach in army basic training. Ah, the roach coach. Nah, that used to be, that's the little yeah. on wheels. I that's like snap class a lot on. better. That sounds way more fun. It's like the army has a really <laughs> weird <laughs> way of talking. The roach coach was a little truck that used to drive by in front of the unit and he would sell the sausage, egg and cheese sandwiches. <laughs> and you know, this is uh, the snack fund is like something. Like a food truck. A food it's truck? like a food truck on wheels. Yeah, the Roach Coach is a food truck on wheels. This isn't. This is uh, much less, <laughs> much less than that. But another, um, another cool, cool option that the exchange has. I'm not sure a lot of people where is the MFE, right? The Mobile Field Exchange. And what is that? It's basically a 53 foot trailer. The command request, and we ship it out. Uh, right now, we have one in New York City at the Javits Center taking care of all those first responders, members of the third expeditionary uh, sustainment command, uh, national guard members. We have it right there in the heart, in the heat where everything's going on to provide those service members, those first responders, a, a opportunity to kind of step away really quick and not too far mm -hmm. from the cabin center, grab what they need and get back to work. Mobile field exchanges, uh, last time we were in New York City was on 9-11. Wow. So you, if, probably remember that but 9-11 was the last time we were in New York City so about 19 years now and we're there now today um, you know to support the service members we go where you go it's not just a motto I think a uh, captain that was at New York uh, basically said he quoted uh, it's not a you know it's not a deployment until AFI shows up <laughs> and we're there in New York there's some other locations that will possibly depending on the COVID pandemic and you know, what occurs, uh, Seattle, Dallas, New Orleans, we'll, we'll see what happens um, based on, the, you know, the, the curve and, and where it leads up to. 
with the whole COVID thing. So hopefully this dies down before we have to go that far and deploy more resources. Uh, I'm, I'm staying optimistic. I have faith in, you know, the military leadership, the nation's leadership that we're going to get through this. So we have uh, gone live from an MFE before from the mobile field exchange, but it was the history version of yeah. the mobile field exchange. It goes around uh, to different conferences and things like that. So we have gone live from there, but we haven't been live from a working truck. So hopefully we'll get some photos and footage of uh, the folks that are being able to take advantage of that service in New York. For, for your audience yeah. to kind of see that in action, you know, right downtown in the heart. Um, I think I saw a picture of it. I'm not sure if that's the final location, but the MFE, I think it's posted on your site, is literally is. on top of a parking lot, uh, the Javits Center, and you can see like New York City. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. so, something you know, else. Yeah, we're there, we're there. We're there to support, and that took, to be fair, in less than a week. It was requested. Uh, it, it was driven up from Waco, Texas, and I think, as a matter of fact, correct me if I'm wrong. We're, it's opening today. Is that right? Yes, it's supposed to open today, from what I understand. And the cool thing, and you can speak to this too, is it is staffed by our associates who volunteered and stepped up to do this. Um, some associates from Fort, the Fort Hamilton I Exchange, I believe. Can you talk a little bit about our associates and how you feel toward them during this time? Well, hey, big shout out to the Fort Hamilton Associates. Thank you for all you're doing. Uh, you know, uh, first, let me give a, a big shout out and a big thanks to all the, you know, the, the medical community out there, the first responders doing everything they can across the nation to support, you know, all, all our, um, this COVID pandemic. Um, I appreciate it. I know, I know the military appreciates it. Everyone appreciates it. But, you know, as far as the exchange goes and in our bubble, you know, the associates are our heroes, right? They're out there on the front line supporting the customer, exposing themselves to a potential transfer of the virus, right? So big shout out to all of them. I appreciate everything they're doing. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's family serving family, and that's what they're doing. For many that don't know, 85% of associates are are connected to the military some way, shape, or form, whether it be uncle, niece, nephew, brother, sister, father, mother, and about 25% of our associates are married to military members, believe it or not. So those, those associates you see in the stores is probably the spouse of one of your, your sergeants, one of your airmen, uh, you, you never know, right? Or your supervisor spouse, you, you never know, but, but the exchange, you know, we're all in to take care of our associates. I know we just, uh, we just provided a bonus, a $400 bonus, $400, $200 bonus to all the associates out there. Uh, I saw a pretty cool email that just came out. Um, we have a liberal leave policy. But on top of that, let's just say, for example, out on you get sick, you know, maybe with, with COVID or you potentially contracted it, right? You're in self-quarantine 14 days. So that liberal leave policy allows you to still get paid during Great. that time. Um, and of course, if let's just say something happens after that, I just saw an email go out where people are donating leave to a lot of yep. those who are on the front line to kind of help with those. That way they can still get paid during this, uh, you know, this, this, this pandemic and, and still have some income to take care of their family. So big shout out to, to, to all the associates out there. Thank you for all you do all over the world. <laughs> That's all right. awesome. I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's be honest, right? Being in leadership, we're headquarters, we're at Dallas, we're sitting at home, we're not at the front line, we're not exposing ourselves, right? That's just that's just the facts. The associates are out there day in and day out taking care of those customers. So thank you so much for all you do for taking care of those military members out there today. Thank you. So we actually have somebody watching from Fort Hamilton. Um, Sandra Garraway is watching. Um, she says, hi. So hi, Sandra, thank you for watching. I hope you're staying safe out there. Um, Brooklyn in the house. Thank you very much. Up, Sandra? How you doing? We have yes. Justin's watching as well. Not sure where Justin's watching from, but good to see you. Thanks for spending some time with us. Mark's watching, and so is Jennifer Jameson. Hi, you guys. Hope you guys. Hi. We miss you guys. Hope you're all doing well. I saw the I saw the gut truck comment. <laughs> we did see that. Uh, yes, that was uh, Pete. Is that Pete? <laughs> yes. I get it. I get it. You know, <laughs> so we also have Debbie who's watching from Maryland and Bridget from Germany. Hey guys, how's it going? Good. And Bertram um, or Bet team. Sorry. And uh, proud to be part of the exchange serving our best customers in the world. I really think that is a statement that we, we all feel that no matter 
what our role is. I, I really think that all of us are honored to, to work for the Army and Air Force Exchange Service. And this just highlights that. Um, this pandemic just highlights our commitment to service. And I think all of us feel that way. No, I 100% yeah. agree, Julie. 100% agree. The associates are all in to take care of the customers. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Such a passionate group of people who just want to get out there and do the best they can to serve, you know, to serve the troops in their time of need. You know, this is uh, unprecedented times, unprecedented, unprecedented times. Uh, uh, no one's, you know, we don't know where it's going, right? We're, it, it's, we're not sure what's going to come of this uh, or how much longer we'll be in quarantine or, or how much longer we'll be in a, in a self-isolation. But I have faith. I'm positive. We're going to get through this. We're going to come through and there'll be some normalcy here, here soon, hopefully in the next month. Awesome. Mary Lou from Maine says hello. So hi, Mary Lou. Hope you're staying safe out there. So Chief, what you we also to have oh, sorry. Susan Go ahead. from Yakota. Yakota in the house. Yakota, nice. And Ken from Dias. Hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. Love to see you guys on Facebook. Um, yes. Wish it were under different circumstances, but how have you been? What you been doing? Well, you know, been self isolation, obviously, right at home, uh, doing doing what I can. But uh, but you know, it, it's 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 tough. I was in an interview the other day, and there was this mental health expert on there, and he, he kind of mentioned, mm -hmm. you know, you got to find your constants in a world of variables. Right? Yep. What does that mean? He basically said, find your constants at home. So whatever you do, if you get up in the morning, get up at the same time, work out, do something to provide stability, provide you know constants at your home, it, it kind of, it, it'll kind of give you a, 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 what's the word I'm looking for here, a, a Routine? Continuity? Routine. Routine. <laughs> routine. Um, you pull your thesaurus out, Leo? Which yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it'll kind of, it'll kind of give you a root of routine, right? And he, more importantly, he stated, don't think on the past, because while you're at home, you know, you, you, you're, you're thinking, you're thinking, you have a lot of time to think. He says, don't dwell on the past. Think, think on the future. Right. Think of what you're going to do uh, or, or do some things to kind of better improve yourself. So, for example, for me, uh, I'm a social guy, so it's kind of tough for me. I like to get out. Talk are to you? You are? Just a little. Just a little. <laughs> you don't say. Yeah, <laughs> so this is great right now, getting a chance to talk to you live. <laughs> um, but also physical. Right. I, I appreciate, you know, uh, doing physically physical things, uh, working out. So, for example, I don't know if you know this. I think you are aware, but I tore my Achilles on 30th of November. So, how'd you do that, baller? How'd you do hey, that? For all you, uh, for all you 40 year olds out there, don't don't try to go out there with them 20 year olds and act like you're the baller. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. All right. I so, if you're 40, you just self quarantine. Don't go yeah, anywhere. Self quarantine. You know, you stick to the basic PT stuff: push ups, sit ups, and. <laughs> All right. <laughs> be all right. Trying to run with them 20 year olds. I mean, we won the game. We won the game. It's good. Oh, good. Um, I'm glad. This is, uh, <laughs> this is really tough. So, you know, I go to physical therapy three times a week. So, you know, thank God that's still, that's still open, you know, for me to, mm -hmm. for me to do that. But on top of that, I also go on YouTube. You know, I'm able to walk now, not run yet. It takes about six months to a year to actually recuperate. So I go on YouTube. I watch like body fit by, by Amy videos, P90X3. <laughs> Uh, um, um, 21 day fit actually uh what's that command command chief wendell snyder out there he's the one <laughs> put me on to that 21 day fit good 30 day videos get you prepped keep you in shape uh so i, I kind of do that all day um not all day maybe stop like once a day right maybe twice all a day. day i like all day we can go with that. <laughs> so yeah. not all day all day but, but there's some <laughs> other cool hours, right? out. be fit all the time <laughs> Yeah, so you know, stay fit, do what you can. But there's also some other cool options out there. Uh, if you want to, you know, better, better improve yourself, there's this cool Air Force uh, website on Facebook or this, you know, this page on Facebook. It's called the Air Force Quarantine University. And then, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's so funny. Cool though. If you go on there, it's cool. You have people of all ranks, all ages. It doesn't matter. Uh, for example, there was one. I think it was. I can't remember. It was a. Uh, uh, there was a lady on there showing you how to make masks at home. There was another one who had a 3D printer, put this, uh, the, the, the file you need to print your own at home, to print masks or the holders to make the mask. Um, you, have, you have people talking about resiliency and how to cope, you know, spiritual resilience. Uh, so it's basically a 24 hour professional development seminar online and you could access it all day. Lots of cool people on there, bullet writing, all types, anything you wanna, you wanna learn, 
they're putting it out there, they're putting content. Uh, it's great, some of it's live, so you can interact like we are now and ask questions. And of course, if you're in the army, I know um, I'm in this group, I'm not HR, but I'm in this group called the HR Assassins. So, <laughs> uh, whoa, hey, they're serious in the army. Uh, so if you want to, you know, keep up with your career field, your MOS in the Army, HR Assassins on Facebook page, they post lots of great content out there. If you just want to, you know, polish, you know, polish your toolkit, you know, polish your, 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 whatever tools you have, <laughs> you know, uh, go to those websites. They're all from lots. Learn of something great. new too, right? Cool. Very good. Yeah. So awesome. that's what I've been doing. I stay on the internet, look up stuff. Uh, huh those pages check it out kind of learn learn from from yeah. other people who know more than me on certain topics um and, and this is the time right we should all be thankful especially you know those in the military uh we should be thankful that we're still getting paid right yep uh you know we're, we're still having income i know it's hard for possibly a lot of their spouses out there who probably have been laid off um you know and some people are used to dual a dual income but stick through it, you know, I'm thankful that we're here and we're doing everything they can, even working remotely, we're doing everything they can to continue to mission, you know, protect our nation. That doesn't, that doesn't stop no matter, no matter what happens. Chief, we have somebody watching, her name is Missy. She says, we aren't quarantined at home. We have to be at work. We don't have enough masks for our employees. Can we please hear something that will motivate those of us still showing up for work? I do want to say though, Missy, um, you, the exchange is going to provide masks to all associates who are on the, who are customer facing or in our distribution centers. So that is happening. But Chiefs, do you want some words of motivation from you? Can you, can hey, you like, talk like, to her? Hey, we really, uh, does, does she work at the exchange, Missy Poole? I'm not sure. Or is that her just name a, is Missy. Work I'm assuming she works for, for us. I'm, I'm uh, going to get. I am too, but yeah. Correct. Well, I, I'm not sure, but let's go, you know, if you, if you work out there like, like Judy just said, I think we ordered about uh, 100,000 face masks. I think we got 50,000 in or, or 30, sorry, let me rephrase, about 30,000 in. They just picked them up yesterday by, or Monday, yeah, yesterday uh, on the call from Customs. They're, they're, they're coming in. We're going to get them out there from the Waco, D.C. Stay positive. I know there's a lot of tutorials out there with the face mask. If you can, have, have fun with the face mask, right? Put a little design on it. Not for the military members. Obviously, we have our guidance. But for you associates, I don't know, maybe you could put a nice little uh, a character on there. Just <laughs> stay, yeah, stay positive. Make, your, you know, make it enjoyable. It's tough. I know you're exposed. You're, you're more exposed than, than those of us are, right? But stay positive, practice the guidelines that were given to you, right? The CDC has put out guidelines, the DOD has put out guidelines, uh, the exchange has put out guidelines on what we could do to ensure the safety and, and, and you know, the, the welfare of our, of our associates and customers. So stay positive, stay motivated. No, we're gonna get through this. Missy, we're gonna get through this. I'm telling you right now, uh, it's just a matter of time, but, but you know, stay motivated. Please keep your head up and think positive. Don't think on the negative. Think positive. We're going to get through this. And I'm there with you. If you want, you could always reach out to me. We could chat in person. Uh, I'm available anytime. My phone number is on my webpage, Chief Master on Lewis Reyes. You could just call me. That's my cell phone number. No one else is going to pick it up but me. It's right here. <laughs> it's right here. So uh, we could talk more if you want to talk about that. Uh, I'm available anytime for anyone anywhere in the world. So so please, oh. you just have faith in your leadership. We're, we're going to take care of you and do everything. That's, that's so nice, nice, Chief. Thank you. We, we appreciate you. Um, all of the associates appreciate you. I, I know I've seen you on store visits and site visits. They love you. So they think those words mean a lot coming, coming from you. So thank you for taking time to do that. I'm telling you, those are our heroes, right? As far as the exchange goes, those frontline associates mm -hmm. are our heroes, right? They're the ones out there with the customer taking care of them day in and day out. So we really got to uh, recognize them and, and, and thank them for all that they do. So Mary Lou also had a, a good uh, comment. She says one day at a time, it's all we can do. That's right. That's right. I want to add to that, Missy, also, if you um, do have some fun with creating your own mask, um, you know, we, we posted a video earlier this weekend about um, CDC and um, how, how they're recommending that in places where you don't have a mask, there's um, really simple and easy ways to create something at home with materials and supplies that you probably already have. 
Um, so if you're if you're able to do that, why don't, uh, we would really love it if you would share those photos with us. Um, you can just send them in a private message here on the Facebook page. Um, we're, we really want to see, you know, how you guys are handling this. We also have a comment from Corey who says, I'm sure I speak for the entire vendor community in saying how much we truly appreciate what Exchange Associates do for our mutual customers every day. Thanks for all you do for the troops and their families. You guys are awesome. Corey, you are awesome. Thank you for watching with us today and for, for leaving that little bit of positive feedback for all of those who are on the customer facing in to all in to, to serve during this challenging, challenging time. So thank you for that comment. Uh, thank you for that comment. Big Somebody shout out. Uh, let me give a big <laughs> shout out, Julie, to our vendor community, right? Uh, so supporting, right? Supporting the exchange, uh, understanding that who we need the product for, right? We're not, we're, yeah. not, we're not Walmart, we're not Target, we're not serving the general population, right? Let's just be honest. We're serving, uh, uh, you know, the military. And, and, and thank you to the vendors. I know we, we've spoken with a lot of vendors to ensure we get products and meet the demand uh, that, that our customers require. You know, some uh, toilet paper, hand sanitizer, you know, we're working on all of that with our vendors to kind of provide that product. So, so big shout out to the vendors working with the exchange to ensure we keep that in stock. We have a couple other comments. Mark Matthews says, you're a good chief and you are. <laughs> Monique Applegate wants to know if you can show us how to wear the mask properly in uniform. Um, I don't know that you're able to do that right now while we're talking, but maybe right. that's something you could help us with. Um, offline yeah because my mask is down in the comments. i have my mask downstairs oh do you i just have the basic one i have the basic one that you know from walgreens i happen to buy a box of them and i just put it around my face and that's it like the generic mask that you would find anywhere uh, and I'll make a, a what you found some in stock yeah where'd you find yeah you found some here yeah. in dallas and that well this was like last month Oh, you're ahead of the game. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. COVID was real. I was there. Yeah, I was paying attention. Let, let me go. Yeah. Um, but but it's just a. Uh, I'll, I'll take a picture and I'll I'll post it. We'll post it later. We'll reply to her comment and I'll, I'll make one too. I saw a little. I saw a little uh, article somebody sent me. So I'll make one out of a T-shirt. So love it. Yeah. Awesome. I know that um, the Surgeon General has some guidance on how to make a mask. And I think Leah. I think you posted that with us too uh, on our I page, did. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I haven't tried it yet, but I also haven't left my house. So I, I guess I'm, tried a little, it yet. I'm a little nervous. I'm not very crafty, so I'm a little, little nervous about that. Um, we have Chuck Tannehill says staying positive and refusing to accept all this as the new normal. That's what he's doing. He's staying on, positive. Chuck, Chuck, you're spot on right there, right? This is just a bump in the road. We're going to get over it and we'll be back out in no time. Agree 100%. Chief, we want to thank you so much for your time. Uh, we're coming up on the end of our live feed. So thank you so much for joining with us. Um, we've thank missed you. everybody. Thanks yep. for everybody watching. It was so Missing much fun. you guys. Thank you so much, Leah. Uh, Julie, thank you so much for this opportunity to kind of talk to the audience out there and, and you know, answer a few questions. If they have any more questions, I'll, I'll jump on here and answer some. Um, I think your phone might be ringing off the hook once you just put that out there. <laughs> all good. It's all. That's Let us job. know. <laughs> that's what I'm here for. But hey, thank you to all to everyone out there, all the associates, you know, our customer. Thank you so much for all you do. Of course, all the first responders and, and the military community, you know, still grinding, still working out there. Thank yep. you so much for doing what you do. Keep it up. Love everything you're doing. Appreciate you. Awesome. We love Bye. you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you guys later.